In this example, we are going to show that the spherical equation, rho equals 2 times the cosine of phi, represents a sphere. We're also going to find the center and radius of the sphere. Then we'll talk about how we can put this together in uh, the RZ trace and sort of piece together what it looks like in that regard. So with that in mind, the conversions that we have as far as uh, converting this back into either cylindrical or uh, Cartesian coordinates, uh, one big one that speaks to me is the fact that we have a cosine of phi in here. So I will ask you to recall with me that uh, the z coordinate is equal to rho times the cosine of phi, which means that we can't really make a conversion on this unless it's rho times the cosine of phi. So starting with this equation, rho equals 2 times the cosine of phi, I am going to multiply both sides by rho. On the left hand side, rho times rho will be rho squared, and writing this into the appropriate order, this would be 2 rho cosine phi. Rho squared can be converted back into Cartesian coordinates, and rho cosine phi can be converted as well because of this conversion right here. So we can say that this is now x squared plus y squared plus z squared, and that's going to be equal to 2 times z. Now the fact that we have an x squared plus y squared plus z squared here is pretty indicative of a sphere, but the fact that we have a 2z over on this side indicates to me that the center is not going to be at the origin. So what I'm going to do is rewrite this in such a way where the z terms are grouped together, and I'm going to leave a little blank here so that we can complete the square using this negative 2z. So to complete the square, we divide the coefficient of z by 2 and square the result, we get 1. I'm going to add that both to the left-hand side to complete the square, as well as the right-hand side to balance it out. So what we're looking at for standard form of our sphere is now x squared plus y squared plus z minus 1 quantity squared is equal to 1. So given that this is standard form of a sphere, we can identify the center. Center is going to be at 0, 0, 1, and the radius of our sphere is going to be the square root of the right-hand side, and that'll be equal to 1. Now if you did want to try to sketch what, uh, sketch what this looks like in the RZ trace, then we could probably figure it out using a couple of points in here. So for example, we could do a phi table and then try to figure out what our r value would be as well as what our z value would be. If you start with phi is equal to 0, you're going to get that r is equal to uh, 2 times the co uh, excuse me, 2 times the sine of 0 and z is equal to 2 times the cosine of 0. That would be r is 0, z is 2. So that's going to be right up here. Then we could do something like, oh, I don't know, phi is pi over 4. Figure out what's going on in this direction. So let's see, that would be uh, r is equal to 2 times the sine of whatever we have here. No, wait, this is, this is not quite right. This is uh, rho is equal to, uh, so, hmm. you know what? It goes like this when you actually do it right. <clears throat> then when you rotate it about the z-axis, all turns out well. I think I just figured out what I was doing wrong. So r is supposed to be equal to uh, rho times the sine of phi. We could actually plug in what rho is equal to up here. This would be equal to 2 times the cosine of phi times the sine of phi. Then we also have that z, uh, z is equal to rho times the cosine of phi, and plugging in again what rho is equal to, this would be 2 times the cosine of phi times the cosine of phi. If I were using these values over here, it would have worked out more properly. In fact, let's give it the old college try. I'm no quitter, except for when I quit things. So when phi is 0, r would once again be 2 times 1 times 0, and z would be 2 times 1 squared. So again, that gives us this point up here at the top. At pi over 4, 
This would be 2 times root 2 over 2 times root 2 over 2. That actually winds up being 1. And this is 2 times root 2 over 2 quantity squared. This would be 1 as well, which is how we get this point right here. And finally, if we go down to pi over 2, r would be 2 times 0 times 1. z would be 2 times 0 squared at which point it comes back and hits the pole. And indeed, if we were to take this circular or semicircular region and rotate it about the z-axis, that would give us what we're looking for. So please forgive my little error here. I'm not gonna claim it's really early in the day, but I am gonna claim that I haven't yet had my energy drink. So uh, I'm gonna get on that. And hopefully this explanation over here made a little more sense.